The unseen struggle between generations. A strange thing is happening in Kathmandu nowadays that is only slightly noticeable. There are increasing number of young people who would have gone to the USA or Australia but didn't go. Not because their visa got rejected but because they chose to stay. They are thus coming up with ways to make their lives in Nepal as exciting and happening as it could have been in the USA. On the other hand, the majority of the opportunities are held by the generation of their fathers. Mm. Say young kid wants to start a new web portal and needs ads from a sector. Now he doesn't know anybody who could help him because all his seniors from college and schools were the missing generation from Kathmandu. Their father's generation could benefit from him, but is it they are threatened or they are oblivious to the fact that he can help. Then there is a tension building up. These kids aren't going to go abroad. They are here to stay. Like it or not. Unlike in the USA where they would get plenty of leads and support from alumni that are holding the opportunities. This generation thus missing, they will stay, uh, they will need to struggle hard and learn better marketing skills. Some are humble enough to learn, others play the blaming game. There's a great divide of generations now. So if you're one of those kids, or your child is one of them, let's call them the generation stay in Nepal. Don't give up. You need a cross-generation marketing strategy.